Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me for another one of my videos. So I thought, seeing as I'm turning 24 at the end of this month, um, seeing as I'm on holiday the next week and over my birthday, I had to film this now. So it's a little bit early. It's not my birthday for another two weeks, but I thought I would film this because I think it, I always love seeing YouTubers and bloggers do these kind of things. So I thought it was about time. I did one and shared with you 24 things I've learned over the 24 years I've been alive on this earth. So number one is always be yourself. That is definitely something I have massively learned and to not be a copy of someone else, to be completely authentic and to just be shamelessly you, as I say. Um, you know, I'm proud of who I am as a person and I'm proud of what I do and I would just always want to be myself and be true to myself and, you know, encourage others to be true to themselves as well. And I think from not being myself over the last five years of my life um, has definitely taught me to be myself and to raise my standards and to, you know, not accept anything less than what I deserve. Number two is do everything with love. So I think for me, it's been a massive game changer to act with love throughout everything. So whenever I say something, do something, or whatever the situation is, I always do it with love to ensure that it's the kindest and best outcome for everybody involved. And I think if we all just did things with love and life, it would be a much happier place. Number three, be grateful. So this obviously refers to the law of attraction, but just being simply grateful for all the amazing things in your life, everything that's happened throughout your life. I'm extremely grateful for all the incredible things that have happened throughout my life and all the incredible things that are going to happen. And I am just so, 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 so grateful for just everything, absolutely everything, because I am extremely lucky and extremely blessed. And through gratitude, I obviously found the law of attraction and transformed my life and made it to what it is today. So gratitude has certainly transformed my life. Number four is pain is not the end. So I think from hitting rock bottom, I quickly discovered that pain was not the end and that pain like I wasn't always going to feel pain or for me at that time when I was going through it it felt like I would always feel pain that there was no escape and that pain was just an every you know it was a part of me and it really wasn't it was really circumstantial and you know pain for me meant the start of an incredible new life it was horrible to go through certainly painful certainly distressing and probably the worst time of my life, like I said, it was rock bottom. But for me, the only way was up after that. And really, I think the pain fueled me as well. The pain fueled me to make a better life for myself and fueled me to say no more and to raise my standards and literally say to the universe, no more of this shit. Like, I am having an amazing life after this and it's gonna be amazing. Number five is real strength. Um, I have discovered what real strength is. And, you know, for me, I guess strength was always a physical thing, whether, you know, it was someone's strength like in their physique or I don't know, something like that. For me, I've discovered what mental strength is and mental strength is probably the, the most toughest strengths out there and you know I think through like I said going through my life circumstances I have discovered what mental strength is and discovered how to pull myself out of probably the worst times in my life of being suicidal of being heavily depressed and realizing that no matter how I felt I could feel better that I could change my life and that I could give myself the best life possible and you know I've had to go through a lot of shit in my life and I've had to go through a lot of shit in the last few years and for me the strength which I've gathered through that has made me fearless and has made me not really feel pain anymore which is is I don't know it's weird but it's good but it's like I obviously it's kind of like I can't be hurt any more than I have already so it's kind of given me the strength to not be hurt by situations anymore, which would have upset me before. Number six is the universe has my back. So the universe definitely has had my back throughout my entire life. Um, you know, through 
probably not even meant to be here like obviously i meant to be here but i've gone through quite a lot of near-death experiences and like you know just weird stuff which normally would have meant that i shouldn't have been here and the fact that i still am and the fact that i've been guided to this part of my life throughout my whole life and everything i've been doing has like led me to this like phase of my life which i'm incredibly happy and have everything i've ever dreamed of and you know i just want to stress that the universe always always has your back you know and no matter what setbacks you have what you know disheartening things happen the universe has your back and it's all working out in your favor it's all happening behind the scenes and you don't even know about it yet and it feels good to know that it feels good to know that no matter what everything is happening for the best and everything is working out for the best and you know no matter how hard it gets like i said in a couple of years time you won't even feel the pain you won't even feel the sadness because you will realize why it all had to happen number seven is that i love cake and this is really funny because i literally had some cake before filming this so <laughs> and i mentioned cake so much in my videos i'm just obsessed literally obsessed but i don't care um so the reason why i put that i love cake is because i always say this when people say to me you know why did you never become a model or why did you never do this and i always felt kind of insulted because i was like because i love cake like that's why i'm not a model or anything like that and i, I know i couldn't be a model anyway i know that and my weight has certainly been something i've battled with a lot throughout my life and body dysmorphia and you know i've dealt with a lot of body issues so for me the fact i can gladly say i love cake and i don't care um, to me signifies that I am body confident and that no matter how I look I am beautiful and that you know it you shouldn't judge someone by the way they look or how big they are or how skinny they are it is simply judge people by their souls judge people by their souls and also you know I think life's just too short not to eat the freaking cake as I said in my video was you know life is too short not to eat cake so just eat cake and be freaking happy that's my motto in life and if I could put that on a mug I bloody would number eight is to always help others so for me I am such a giver. I was born to be a giver and I know that my life purpose is definitely to be a giver. And to be able to help people without everything has been an incredible, incredible journey for me, you know, from starting off my money saving page and helping people save money to now helping people transform their lives, like through life coaching and through these videos. Like it's an incredible thing that I have achieved and an incredible thing which, you know, I didn't feel even qualified for, but, you know i've been able to help people do and to me that is amazing that's happiness to me that is fulfillment to me that i can give so much to other people that they can feel amazing about themselves and i just think that helping others is such a great thing to do and that's what fulfills me in life helping others see other people smiling because of you know things i've done to help them or things i've said and yeah i think that we should all just help each other as much as possible not drag people down not be nasty and bitchy and horrible but actually uplift people encourage people and not see everybody as competitors and not see everybody as you know competition or whatever just help people and remember whatever you put out you get back from the universe so if you're putting out help love support and kindness that's exactly what you're going to get back and multiplied Number nine is a positive mind equals a positive life. So I don't just want to, you know, go rambling on about law of attraction really, because I know some people don't watch these videos for that. There's only a few left now, but I want to generalize this a little bit more than I would normally. So a positive mind does not just mean being spiritual and law of attraction and manifesting stuff. A positive mind is just a great thing to have in general as a, you know, as a mindset. And, you know, if, it is just the law of physics what you put out you get back it's been proven so many times so if you're putting out positive thoughts and positive vibes you're gonna get a positive life back and for me when i did turn positive when i turned my life around and was just positive and happy and lived a positive life my whole life changed massively and you know then you can manifest and then you can bring all these wonderful things into your life if that's what you want to do but for me changing my life and changing my thoughts was the best thing I could do. It got me out of my anxiety and my depression. It healed me massively. 
and then transformed my life incredibly. Number 10 is that anything is possible. So this is one of my favorite sayings ever. Of course, anything is absolutely possible. And I'm a massive preacher of this. Um, and you know, even sometimes I sit there and I'm like, really, is that possible though? Like for instance, like my credit file. Um, so I've got two defaults on my credit file from my ex-boyfriend, the first one who left me in debt. And that's why I got into my whole money saving journey. And you know, for me, it has restricted me recently because I want to get a mortgage in the future and things like that. And you know, maybe have a car finance or something. And I'm not gonna be able to do that because of my ex and you know, I could manifest my defaults magically disappearing, but the likelihood of that happening is extremely slim. But that's a really negative thing for me to say. I should be saying, I don't care how it happens, but these defaults are gonna be removed before the six year period. So basically your credit file resets every six years. So I've got another three years left with these on my file. And then after three years, my credit file will be renewed and like my score will go up and everything will be fine. But why should I have to wait three years to have the things that I want? So if anything i want to you know i will manifest my defaults magically disappearing and i probably should joke about it because then it will happen um but you know for something like that it is pretty impossible for it to happen before the time so my point of this is is that anything really is possible it's not about questioning the hows or the whens or literally how it is going to happen even if it seems physically impossible it is about embracing you know, the universe and embracing that truly anything can happen in any way. And that no matter what, what you ask for will come to you. Number 11 is to work hard. So I've always worked hard since a very young age and always been extremely driven and determined to create the life I wanted. And, you know, I haven't always been like that. When I turned 18 and I got the first boyfriend, you know, th yeah, I probably wasn't driven at all. I definitely wasn't driven. Um, but I've always worked hard and I always believe that working hard will always, you know, bring you success and always bring you what you want to in life. And, you know, even now I work extremely hard within my businesses. I never have a day off, but for me, the rewards are so, so worth it. And, you know, I've achieved incredible things, which not, you know, not everybody's doing at all. So I'm extremely proud and extremely, you know, grateful of for my hard work and for my drive and for my passion for everything I do. And working hard will get you very far in life. 11 is to always look to the future. So I have been probably mocked so much in my life through friends, family, even probably like old work colleagues, probably pretty much most people in my life. Not like, not now, but probably in the past. Um, a lot of people mocked me for always looking to the future, always being in the future instead of in the now. And I have learned to come a little bit more back into the now, but you know, a lot of people used to say to me as a child, like your head's always in the clouds. And I was like, yeah, and your, po your point is, I don't care. And I think for me, it's probably been the best thing that I could have done because I'm always planning for the future. I'm always manifesting, I'm always progressing. I'm always, always striving for progress. And sometimes, you know, especially in relationships, you can't always do that. Whereas I'm like a very forward thinker and I'm always like a million miles ahead of everything, work, relationships, everything. I always, I always have to be moving and progressing and everything like that. And for me to look towards the future is to not necessarily rush it or, you know, chuck away the now or the present. It's, you know, it's kind of the point of saying you need to future plan. So know what you want in your future and manifest it, bring it to you, live in the future as if you have it now to bring it closer to you. So I think it's helped me manifest more than it has been a hindrance or, me wasting away my youth or whatever whatever people have said to me i think it has just helped me manifest things a lot quicker because i'm living as if i'm living i'm living as if i already have those things because i am you know constantly looking to the future and instead of looking to the past and always living in the past and all that negative stuff 
I'm living in the future. I'm in the good shit. I'm constantly in the good shit with the good vibes, which brings all the good stuff to me. Number 13 is to dream. So as I said, I've always, always, always been a dreamer. I have dreamer tattooed on me. It was my first tattoo I ever got. Um, and people used to really rip into me for it. They always used to be like, oh, you've always got your head in the clouds. You're such a dreamer. And to those people I say, obviously it worked. For me, I think being a dreamer is an incredibly great benefit. It has given me so much in life, made me so positive and given me an incredible, incredible mindset. And you know, it's not about being unrealistic. I mean, to be honest, I hate the word realistic. I hate it with a passion because I am not realistic in any shape or form. I am probably the most unrealistic person ever. Not because I am crazy, or I probably am crazy, not because of any of that, but because why would I want anything realistic anyway? You know, the law of attraction doesn't teach you to be realistic. It doesn't say, hey, when you're manifesting, just be realistic. Don't, don't go for all the amazing stuff. Just be realistic. No, the law of attraction is like, go for the crazy, crazy, crazy stuff, which you want and you know you can have. And I just think realistic is such a negative term. Nobody needs to be realistic. Everybody needs to be unrealistic and weird and manifest amazing things. And I think also if you are realistic, then you're just gonna get what you've always got. And I love this quote from Tony Robbins where he says, I mean, I can't remember the exact quote, but it's something like, if you don't change anything, then you'll always get what you've got. But if you change things, you'll get things you've never had before. And I think it's a powerful term of being realistic means you're gonna get exactly the same as you've had before. Number 14 is to raise my standards. So last year when I went through my spiritual awakening, I raised my standards massively. And in return, my life has raised its standards massively. And I always, always, always say to people to raise their standards when they're like, I just don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of this situation. I don't know how to do this. The simple answer is to raise your standards. I tolerated a lot of bad stuff and a lot of stuff no one should ever have to tolerate. And by tolerating it, I was literally sending signals out of give me more of this. I'm okay with this, give me more. So when I suddenly took myself out of those situations and you know, especially like with the dream man and was like, I am not accepting anything less than pure perfection and exactly what I want down to a list. Um, I raised my standards massively and in return the universe raised my life standards and you know even with work even with my businesses even with my home with my friends with my family as soon as I raised my standards I got quality and quality was something I had strived for for so long and had never had that now I have quality I have incredible quality in my life and that is simply through not tolerating any bullshit and not tolerating anything less than what I knew I deserved. And it can be hard. It can actually be so hard to, you know, raise your standards and to not tolerate things and maybe lose friends or people through it. Of course it's hard, but you look back and you think, I did not even want those people in my life anyway. So for me, raising my standards was the best thing I could have done. Number 15 is to do what sets your soul on fire. Um, I love this, I love saying that, set your soul on fire. Um, I always do things I'm passionate about. If something doesn't set my soul on fire, I don't do it. Um, if I'm passionate and have a good feeling about it, I will do it with 100% of like my determination and passion. Um, but yes, I always make sure that every day I'm doing something that sets my soul alight and makes me feel great and makes me feel happy. And, you know, I guess with my relationships and my friends and everything, like, you know, I surround myself with people who do make, like, do make me incredibly happy and do set my soul on fire and add, you know, positivity to my life. And I think when you live like a really soulful and mindful life, it's so easy to do the law of attraction because you're just constantly surrounded by positivity and by all these people who are gonna help you manifest. Number 16 is that everything happens for a reason. Again, probably one of the phrases I say every single day. Everything truly does happen for a reason and some Sometimes we just can't see that. Sometimes we're on the other side of the door and a setback or something happens and it feels like the end of the world. It feels like, oh, why didn't I get this? And especially if you've been trying to manifest something and I don't know, like you manifest it, say if it's like a job or something and you've manifested it and you don't get the job and you're like, oh my God, like 
I was gonna manifest this, I was so close to having it, and then I haven't got it. But I always say there is a reason, and there is a reason for absolutely everything. You know, there's a reason why I have, you know, there was obviously a reason why I didn't meet anybody for a year and a half. There was reasons for everything that's happened in my life. You know, there's reasons that I was put in 10 grand debt because of all of this stuff. So 10 grand's debt wasn't great. No, it was horrible. And you know, to have that at the age of 20 was awful, like soul crushing. But for me, that 10 grand debt was like a 10 grand investment. I invested it in myself. I created incredible businesses. And now my life is a million times, and I mean a million times better than anything I had back then. And if only I could have had like a little crystal ball and seen into the future of how amazing my life would be, I wouldn't have even cried. I wouldn't have even wasted a second of disappointment or upset on those situations because I literally would have been like, oh my God, my life's gonna be amazing. Thank you, universe. So I always say when a setback happens, it's actually a secret opportunity. If anything negative happens or you're disheartened or something doesn't go your way, it's actually an opportunity you just don't know about yet. And if you just give it time, the truth will be revealed, the better job will come along, the better situation will come along and you'll think, oh, I'm so glad I didn't get the other thing. I am so glad because this is even more awesome and it's really important to hold that belief and affirm that belief to yourself as well. And I am living proof of everything happens for a reason. And yeah, it always does, always does. Number 17 is that tattoos are permanent. Now that may sound really stupid, um, but for me, I have got some silly tattoos in my time, not like rude ones but I got tattoos relating to my exes um, and now I have a very big tattoo on my wrist to cover all of those mistakes. Um, so I think if I could give anybody advice, it would be tattoos are permanent. Please think about them. Please, please put a lot of thought into them. I mean, I've got 12 tattoos now and all 11 of them I absolutely love and they look amazing. But one of them, you know, it does remind me of, you know, the silly mistakes I made and that, you know, they are permanent and that's gonna be on me for life. But equally from that, it has taught me that, you know, pain isn't permanent. And that although I may have ink permanently on my skin, um, you know, it reminds me of those situations and it reminds me of the growth I've gone through and that actually, Yes, it is awful and I shouldn't have had them done in the first place, but equally now I have a beautiful feather which covers it all and the feather signifies freedom for me and it signifies my spiritualness and, you know, it signifies being set free from those situations. So it has a lovely kind of meaning to it, but tattoos are definitely permanent and I kind of wish I'd listened a bit more about my tattoos, but most, I love all of them, to be honest. I love all of them and they all have incredibly great meanings. 18 is that friends come and go. So I have, I've gone through a lot of friends in my life and that sounds really bad, but it's not necessarily a sense of, I just get bored of people. It's not like that at all. It's the fact of they've had to leave my life for a very good reason. Um, you know, I've tried, I'm such a trusting person. I always give my all to people. And I always help people, always. And I've been taken advantage of, I've been taken advantage of a lot in my life. And a lot of people have played me and done some really, really nasty things. But I think, if anything, my true friends have never left. My true friends I've never fallen out with. My true, true friends have never done anything to me. And, you know, I know they wouldn't. So true friends will always stay, but friends will come and go. And I think it's important to realize that some people just aren't meant to be in your life or they're meant to be in your life for a very short amount of time and to maybe teach you something. And that's fine and that's great, but you know, fundamentally, if someone's not meant to be in your life, you don't want them in your life. Number 19 is the best things in life are free. Um, yes, they are. And even from a money saving perspective, the best things in life are free. So this is a mixed meaning. Um, obviously freebies are great. Um, but secondly, I'm talking about, you know, the things money can't buy, like love, emotions, happiness, all the things like that. And, you know, a lot of people say to me, I'm the hardest to buy for, and this relates to my birthday as well. So a lot of people have said to me, I'm the hardest person to buy for because I have everything, can I just go and buy it myself? Which is extremely true. Um, but for me, I'm like, but I'm not a materialistic person. Yes, I have nice things, but 
as a birthday gift, I want something money can't buy. I want something sentimental and something, you know, from that person which signifies our friendship or our relationship. I always challenge people when it comes to my birthday and they hate it, they bloody hate it. But when people say I'm the hardest person to buy from, like I'm actually really not, like I just really want something sentimental, like nothing flashy, just something sentimental, something lovely and you know something more practical like something like a doing thing more than a you know a gift or a, an item of something number 20 is to always trust your gut now my gut is so spot on like scaringly spot on sometimes and it's quite annoying sometimes but most of the time it's been good um so my gut has told me a lot of things in my life it made me know about um my ex cheating on me before i actually knew about it in the physical um, yeah, just loads of stuff. And I always wanna make business decisions or I have to make decisions in my own life. I always like go within, go and ask my guts, as stupid as that sounds. Um, and yeah, it's always, always, always been right. So I always trust my gut, always, and you guys should as well. Um, it has obviously taken some work to listen to my gut and to silence my ego because you will always have two little voices in you saying one thing and one saying the other thing. So you have to obviously work out what's your ego and what's your gut. And your, your ego will always be negative and kind of sort of talking in past tense or future tense. Whereas your gut will always be calm, it will always be caring and it will always, and it will always speak to you in the present tense. So that's how I kind of work out what's what. Um, but yes, always trust your gut. It is always right. Always, 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 always always <laughs> number 21 is girl power so i've definitely learned girl power in my 24 years and i never used to be like a feminist and i still wouldn't really use that word feminist but i guess that's what i should call myself um so i never used to be a massive advocate for women um never really interested in me like it never really interested me but in the sort of last few years i have definitely become an advocate for girl power because i just feel that women are freaking awesome and we can do so Blooming much. And there are so many women out there right now just kicking ass and doing amazing stuff. And I just think the future is definitely female and I still love, I still love guys. I don't wanna be like bra burning girl power here. It's really not like that at all. I definitely support guys as much as I support girls. But I just think us girlies need a little bit of love and a little bit of TLC. So definitely I believe in girl power and I believe that we should all as women like, you know, lift one another up, help one another and support one another instead of tearing each other down and being bitchy and stupid like that. It's just childish. Number 22 is loving yourself is the best medicine. So definitely when I found self-love and worked on self-love, it was the best medicine ever. So it helps me to obviously heal my anxiety and my depression. And it also helps me to build my self-confidence, to help me live again, to help become independent and to really gain respect for myself. Like in the past, I'd never had respect for myself or confidence or the belief that I could do all these things and was worthy of all these incredible things I wanted. So to find my self-love gave me the clarification and the confidence that I could do everything and gave me a new sense of life and a new sense of I'm a complete person. Like if I can love myself, I can love anyone. Number 23 is you can start a new life at any time. So a lot of people kind of maybe have this ideology that they can't start a new life and they can't be a new person, but you can, you can start your life every single day. You can start a new life, a new mindset, anything, new goals, whatever you want, you can start every single day. I'm so glad that I started a new life. I'm so glad that I made an incredible new life for myself of incredible people. And it was the best thing that I ever, ever did. So, and you know, like if I ever needed to, I know I could do it again sort of thing. Not like I want to, but I could. Um, so what my point is, is that you can start a new life at any time and you shouldn't be afraid to do so. And you should not see it as selfish and not see it as, you know, egotistical, but see it as you're doing it for yourself. You're doing it because you need to do it and you can choose to do that at any conscious moment. And finally, number 24, my favorite one, real love does exist. So this is my favorite thing I've learned over the 24 years. Um, and I suppose up until 22 years of my life, I probably didn't believe it, or I did, maybe. 
I said, right, for five years out of those 22 years of my life, I definitely would have said real life didn't exist and that it was all rubbish and there was no such thing as happily ever afters and all the stuff I'd believed in for so long and all the Disney movies I fantasized about and was like, I'm gonna be a Disney princess. Um, yeah, I do <laughs> and have my literary wedding. So I definitely would have said for five years of my life, I have not believed that, um, but since, I have transformed my life. I definitely believe that. And like I said, it wasn't the dream guy coming into my life that had showed me that. It was actually everything else that had happened throughout my journey and the kindness that people had showed me and the real love like you guys have shown me and people I've met and my, you know, my friends I have now, my family, and of course, Mr. C. So for me, it does exist, definitely, and it feels a million times better than anything else I've had in the past, you know, from everyone. I'm not just talking about relationships, I'm talking about everything. And, you know, it definitely exists. And I think from being positive and, you know, living a positive life, it naturally attracts that and it naturally attracts loving people and positive people and a feeling which is extremely contagious and a feeling which is extremely great and definitely I will never lose it. So those are 24 things I've learned throughout 24 years of my life. I hope you've enjoyed this video and make sure to let me know in the comments below anything you've learned throughout your life, whether you can add to anything or whether this video has helped you. So thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate all your views and likes. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here because I would love, love to see you again soon and leave me a comment in the comments box down below because I reply to them all and I will see you in my next video which will be next week. Lots of love guys.